Hi, Ben here from TaylorMade Designs. In a little special video we're doing today, I've been called by the guys in the office, the TaylorMade wizard of all things truss. And in today's video, we're gonna go through some questions that you guys have been asking. So let's have a little look. So, number one, are roof trusses treated? Well, generally the answer to that is no. Uh, they don't need to be treated. Um, there is an area in the country that you will need the trusses to be treated and any timbers that you use, that's probably George store trusses. And the reason for that is that we need to protect the trusses against attack from the house longhorn beetle or Bajulicious, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Uh, which is a little wood boring insect um, that likes to eat your timber, simple as that. Uh, now the area that that really sort of resides within, it doesn't like it in any other area, is if you've got M25 and there's roughly sort of an area down there just to the left and, and south a little bit of the M25 that, uh, that you'd need to treat your timbers in, but otherwise you don't need it. Uh, any doubts at all, speak to your local building control officer, I'm sure they'll be glad to point you in the right direction. Are trusses cheaper than rafters? Uh, yes, they tend to be, and the reason for that is that we've got the triangulation in the truss. Triangulation? Um, that actually keeps it all nice and small timbers, but nice and strong. And uh, when you've got just loose rafters, they, they're quite deep, they're quite wide compared to trusses. Uh, you'll need support beams quite often as well. And then of course the labor to, uh, to not only install them, but to go around afterwards, make good if there's any sort of little wobbles here or there in the roof. Um, and uh, of course, as part of our process, we would optimize the timber for best use. So fewer materials, less cost. What are the advantages of using a posi joist over traditional timbers? Um, well, I mean, this is quite a, uh, an in-depth answer if you'd like. Um, so we'll start at the beginning. I mean, posi joists, they're inherently light. They're top timber, bottom timber, and just some quite light webs going through rather than a big sort of solid chunk of timber. So they're easily handleable compared to uh, a solid traditional timber. Um, and I mean, if you've seen the videos, you'll know that there's uh, space, there's gap, there's air in between the joists where you can feed all your ducts, your services, uh, MHVR uh, systems. That's MVHR, isn't it? No, MH, mechanical ventilation heat recovery system. They're long spanning, so they're capable of spanning longer distances at uh, wider centers, so fewer joists, less material, less cost. Uh, than solid timbers and uh, they can be quite quick to install as well because uh, again fewer materials it would go up quicker. How do you store trusses on site? Um, okay quite a simple one this one uh, we'll always try our best absolute very best to deliver the trusses upright um, so when they arrive on site uh, you can get them down stack them straight onto a couple of blocks uh, which would be sort of directly on the floor generally uh, keep them dry so cover them up if it's uh, outside um, and uh, if they are a little bit wet, when they go on and get installed, just allow them to, to breathe, to dry before you actually plaster board them in and tile them in and, and sort of cover them over. Can you install solar panels on roof trusses? Uh, well, yes, of course you can. Uh, if it's an existing roof, then if it's something that we've supplied for you, then give us a shout. We'll have a little look at the design and just make sure that that's okay for you, you know, without any issues. Uh, if we haven't designed it for you, or if it's a loose cut roof and you're just double checking, probably the best thing to do is speak to your, uh, your structural engineer on that one. And of course, if it's a new project that we're looking at for you in terms of a design and supply of the trusses, then yes, absolutely, of course, we can, uh, we can incorporate any additional loads required to cater to those panels. How much deposit joists cost? Um, it's, a, it's an open-ended question, that one, really, because it all depends on what you need, the depth that you want, what the joists are doing, how long they are. So a joist really can go from some six, seven, eight, ten pounds, all the way up to sort of hundreds of pounds, really, if they're, if they're really deep and really long. What's the maximum span a truss can cover? Well, I mean, generally speaking, if the pitch is low enough, therefore we can keep it you know, under the bridges and not, uh, not bash it to, uh, about on the way, you're probably talking at somewhere in between maybe sort of 10, 11, 12 meters, too much further than that in span, and you'd be looking at a specialist uh, vehicle to transport it. Um, but don't worry, nil desperandum, what we can do is have a look at your plans, because generally what we find is that if it's a very long truss, we can perhaps sometimes look at splitting that up for you. So more easily deliverable, generally that might actually come with a sort of a cheaper price tag as well for you. But if you've got a big project that uh, is likely to have some you know, large long trusses on there, let's have a look at it, get in touch. What is an attic truss? I'll tell you what an attic truss is, it's my favorite. I think I mentioned it before. Um, it's basically living accommodation within your roof. It's a truss that's designed specifically to make it clear of all webs internally, or as many webs as we can keep clear for you internally. Uh, we've actually loaded the truss up with uh, residential domestic living loads, which is a floor load, uh, furniture, people, anything you might expect on any of the floors below, um, all within your truss. 
So that is your attic truss. Do I need a structural engineer to specify my trusses? No, you do not. No, come to us, we can provide the design, the calculations for building control, everything you need to just get on and do your project. So no need to speak to a structural engineer there. What is a scissor truss? Well, a scissor truss is uh, so called because if you had a pair of scissors, you held it by the handle and you opened it up, and turned it round, the, the sort of the angle of that blade there of each of those would actually look quite like the, the truss, the legs of the truss. Uh, if these are the support points of the, uh, on the walls, and your angle like that went up, in fact, let's do it with one, hand, uh, one, one wall, that's your top cord, this is your underneath cord, your ceiling cord. So you, you get a sloping ceiling, which is slightly different, generally around sort of seven to 10 degrees different, uh, lower than the, the slope of your main roof. Uh, so it forms a nice little feature inside, and that can be quite strong again, because we're achieving triangulation within the truss, um, and it's, it's slightly different perhaps than uh, you might find with a raised collar truss, which is just a single supporting timber going up, so the same angle at the top and the bottom uh, with a raised ceiling. So nice little detail, and the scissor truss is, is a variation on that. Do I have to pay for my truss or joist design? Uh, no, you don't. No, uh, we provide quotations free of charge. Um, if you like the design, you like the price, then we're really hoping that you might come and, uh, and purchase those items from ourselves, uh, but we'll never ask you to pay anything for a quotation. How many trusses will I need for my roof? Uh, it's quite simple. So what's the length of your roof? So if your trusses are spanning this way, we want the direction that way, uh, the dimension that way. Um, so it's basically divided by either 400 or 600, which is your centre to centre spacings. Um, you know, if, if it's your preference to have 400 centres, use that. Normally we'd start the ball rolling for design at 600 centres. Um, so it's your, your span or your, your, your length of the run divided by 600 and then plus one. That was just a few questions that we get asked on a reasonably regular basis that we wanted to just sort of outline and, and um, help you out, give you a few answers. Um, so I've been Ben, I'm your tailor-made wizard of all things, trust. And if you've got any questions, queries, anything at all, inquiries that you'd like to send our way for us to have a look at, please do get in touch.